Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. Do you want to convert your grocery store into an app? With the help of App Maker, you will be able to make your WooCommerce store into an app that will help you to reach more customers. As you can see, this is my grocery store, and here you'll be able to see multiple products in display and categories as well. We'll be turning this website into a functional app just like this. You can add banners, grids, image sliders, and more to make your store look more interesting and appealing. You can convert all the products and categories from the website. Also, you can add your products to the cart and there will be features like wishlist tab, adding coupons to the products, menu tab, and so on. Also, customers can directly check out from the app. Let's get started. First, you'll need to open a new tab and search for appmaker.xyz. You will be taken to the landing page of AppMaker. Here, click on WooCommerce, or you can click on the link from the description, and it will take you to the WooCommerce page of AppMaker. You'll be taken into the WooCommerce landing page of AppMaker. More than 5,000 plus WooCommerce stores are powered by AppMaker. With AppMaker, your customers will be able to enjoy the premium app purchase experience and also helps to boost your revenue. AppMaker is in real-time sync with your store, hence all the changes and in inventory is updated real-time. AppMaker customer support is another highlight and has 4.9 stars through customer reviews in WordPress. Now let's start building our app by clicking on Build My App Now. You will be taken to a page where you will be filling in the required information to proceed further. Once done, click on Create App and you will be taken to the App Maker onboarding dashboard. Here you can add brandings for your app. Firstly, we have an app icon. Click on Upload or Drag and drop your company logo. Similarly, you can add a launch screen for your app. This will be the starting splash screen for your app. You can also preview how the app will look on your customer's phone on the right hand side. After uploading the images, click on the next button which drives you to the colors tab. You can match the look and feel of your app with your brand identity. You can view the changes in real time and play around with the colors till you are satisfied. You can go to the next page once done. You need to connect your store with an app to be in sync. As the validation is completed, you will be prompted to install the AppMaker plugin. Here you can use two method to add AppMaker plugin. One is automatic configuration and other one is manual configuration. If you click the connect automatically button below, you will be redirected to your WordPress plugin directory where you can install and activate the plugin. And on the manual configuration, you have to go to WordPress dashboard and add the plugin manually. I will show you the manual way. First, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. Just use slash WP hyphen admin after your store URL. From here, go to Plugins and click on Add New. Use the search bar and type in AppMaker to find the AppMaker plugin. AppMaker has both WooCommerce and WordPress plugins. Ensure that you have made the right choice for your WooCommerce website. Select AppMaker WooCommerce Mobile App Builder and now click Install. Once it's installed, just activate the plugin. The next step is to connect your store to the app. By connecting the store to the app, you can automatically add all the products in your website to the app. Once you add new products to your website, they will automatically get added to the app as well. Copy the access key. Now go back to the AppMaker page and here click on Verify Plugin.
After verifying plugin, it will redirect you to the activation app page. In here, paste the access key that we copied earlier. Now your store is in sync with AppMaker. Your app is ready. This is the main page of AppMaker dashboard, which will allow you to access all the information and control options that you need to create your app. Let me walk you through the dashboard. Here you can preview both iOS and Android versions by clicking on the preview. We will be doing this at the end of this video with our fully customized app. On the left-hand side of your AppMaker dashboard, you'll be able to see different options. By default, you will have two subcategories under the Customize App button. First one is In-App Pages, and the second one is the Menu. In-App Pages, you will be able to create multiple custom pages. You can creatively use In-App Pages to create categories and subcategories of products, offer pages, bestseller pages, and so on. The Menu option just below In-App Pages allows you to organize the menu as you need. To start, this will be my homepage. You can remove or duplicate these blocks by clicking on the three dots. First, I will remove all these blocks. Let's click on Remove. And scroll down to find the Add Block section. Once you click on Add Block section, you can see list of options. You can add banners grid and other blocks using this option. So now, let's add an image slider. This image slider helps us to create multiple slides which will be displayed in the same space. Actions can be assigned to each slider by clicking on the slider block. Let's add an offer image here by clicking on Upload or you can drag and drop it. You have multiple action options available here. You can open in-app page URL, web view, URL, a particular product or its category or tag, and there are a few more options for you to play with. I'm choosing a product by category here, and let's choose the category from the second dropdown. So I went ahead and added a few more slider images here. By clicking on the move arrow button, I can move block either up or down. I'm moving this option to the top section as this is going to replace our deleted header banner. I have made a few more additions to my home page with banners and sliders. Always remember to save your progress by clicking on the Save button. Now I will show you how to create a new in-app page for the store. Go to Customize App and click on Add a new page. In-app pages helps to create native pages in your app without writing a single line of code. You can make use of the drag and drop interface to design pages by adding images, texts, products, etc. Fill up the page title in here. We are giving the page title, categories. First, I will add a banner from the add block section. Banners can be used to show the special offers, new items released, etc. or perform an assigned action. Now add an image for the banner. Let's add grids for categories. We can increase the number of columns to add all subcategories. There are some other options that we can play around with. You can enable Show More button here. Show More buttons are dynamic components that display additional content which are hidden. In Grid Title, you can add title to the particular grids. You can enable show image title where you can add specific title to the grid images. And then add the images and choose the action and subaction. Repeat the process for all grids. Let's add one more banner below the grid.
below that we can add a pre-built product scroller. In the pre-built product scroller, you can set some pre-built products like sale products, featured products, best-selling products, etc. And you can select any particular group of products that you would like to display. Click on the pre-built product scroller we are going to create one for vegetables. Choose your product scroller category and choose from multiple options available. I will go with the option, open product in the category, and then select the category from the dropdown. Now you have a product scroller with all the vegetable products added to your in-app page. Let me add a few more options on the page. There you go, the page is ready now. I have also added a few more in-app pages for this store. Now we will explore how we can set up the menu. We already have a pre-built menu available for the store. Let's customize it for the mobile version. I'm deleting all of it and let me show you how to create a menu from the start. To add menu, first click on add menu items. There will two menu option, menu title and menu type. So I will add home as a title. And on the menu type, you can select title or menu item. The title will be non-actionable type and menu items will be actionable. So if you click on the menu item, you can choose an action from the dropdown. I will add home. Below that you can see the menu icon. Click on open library. Let's add an icon for the home menu. After selecting the icon, click on add. Now you can see your home menu has been added. Like this, you can add a non-actionable title here also and add more titles related to that. If you grab this menu item, you can drag this to the top or bottom. And also you can make this to a subcategory. I have created the full menu for this brand using the same method and here is how it looks. I have created multiple categories and subcategories. Also, I have linked the category page, contact us page, and also the feedback page. Once you have customized the app, you need to save the changes. The update app section will provide you with a new app preview or a new app download with the changes you have made. We already did this part in the beginning. So if you want, you can recheck here and fill in the required information or just skip to the miscellaneous option. This screen allows you to set up the logo and basic images for the app, such as splash screen of the app, toolbar logo, and a header logo. Here you can add a push notification icon if you choose to. You can also add a login page logo and you have other options as well. To proceed further, click on next and it will take you to the settings page. Here you can explore the features which we can use to make better branding. You can play around with these settings and use those according to your need. Here you can see the grocery mode option. You can enable this option if you want to add a quantity button to each product. On the product list, you can choose the way you want your products to be displayed in the app. The options provided include grid and list. Disabling initial caching sends a random value as a param in each request. Keeping this disabled will update the content of the app each time the app opens. You can also enable language switcher and currency switcher which will increase the customer experience. By enabling Hide Buy Now button, the Buy Now button will be set as hidden. Enabling Login in WebView lets the users log in into the WebView, and there are some other options that you can play around with. Once done, move to the next option that will be the language settings. In here, you can decide the languages you need the app to be in. So you can add languages and you can make the translations here. If you want to add languages, you can just search for the language and then click on it. And then finally click on build app. When you click on build app, the gets refreshed and the app builds again. It will take around five minutes to get ready. Till then we will look into some other features in the app maker dashboard. The first one is the push notification feature. The push notification is an important feature that helps in customer engagement and retention. All AppMaker plans consist of push notification features, 
and with a five-step configuration, you can send push notifications to your customers to generate compelling results. Next is the Promote App feature. So once your app is out there in Google Play Store and the Apple App Store, you would want your users and your customers to know that they can access your store via mobile app. With Smart Banner, whenever your users open the mobile website, a banner such as this will be shown on the top of the website where they can be urged to, to download the app. Similarly, an email footer is where you can inform your customers about the app through the order confirmation email. When a customer creates an order through the website, along with the order confirmation email, customers will get a footer like this. You can customize the features based on your needs. These are great ways to get a quick push to your app promotion. To know more about the Firebase and push notification feature, I will provide the link in the description, which will provide you detailed information about the feature. You can go through our Docs tab, where you can find all the detailed information about App Maker features. Our app is ready. Now, as I informed earlier, I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. This will be my homepage as you can see all images are in the right place. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Let's click on this icon here to see my products. As you can see, all products are here. Now click the product and let's see what option pops up. You can see add to cart button here. You can choose the number of products needed. Just click add or minus. We have a wishlist tab. Customers can add products to the wishlist. Also, you have the option to add coupons. Here we have options to create an account for new users and login options to existing ones. And that is how you make your WooCommerce grocery store into an app through AppMaker.